Good evening, uh, Prime Minister. I come from China, and uh, you know China is facing a lot of challenges in water problem. For example, water pollution, and uh, in South China we are lacking of water. In uh, in north of China we are lacking of water, and uh, South China we have too much water. And Singapore has a lot of successful experience. How do you suggest that Singapore can bring? Uh, experience to China, and uh, how do you see the future cooperation between China and Singapore uh, under the uh, Chinese strategy One Belt and One Road? Thank you. Oh, I don't wow. think we That's have enough time to answer yeah. that question. <laughs> <laughs> we will, yes, take what you want of those. Uh, there was three questions at least. Uh, yeah. I, I think on water, you have en engineering solutions. And China has very ambitious ones. You have Nan Shui Bi Diao, which is to transfer you know, the southern waters to the northern parts of China. It's controversial, but it, will, it can make a big difference. I think you are putting a lot of investments into this. Singapore companies certainly are in China um, doing water projects, drinking water projects, wastewater reclamation projects, groundwater projects. Uh, the technology, the engineering, is not the most difficult problem. The most difficult problem is that you have to implement it and it also, you also have to follow through so that it can be economically viable and politically wearable. So you run a scheme, it can become a viable concern. At the same time, people accept it. This is the right way to do it. And we are prepared to play by the rules and pay the price for the water and uh, observe the discipline so that you don't pollute the environment and you cycle it back and you use it again. I think if you can do that across the country, you can solve the problem. Your cities, some of them, well managed, do it. But nationwide, 1,300 million people, uh, that is a big challenge. Uh, you have the talent to solve it, but you have to decide that you want to do it. 